Okay, Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Looking at this uh, discussion, the Torah, about uh, eating blood, eating blood, and, and, um, and repeated uh, numerous times discussion about this is long Ramban to take a look at, the relationship between what happens sacrificially and not sacrificially, and, and also the discussion about the mitzvah of Kisui Hadam, which is worthy of our note for the moment. Uh, also, um, that when you after slaughter, that the blood had it to be, generally had to be covered as a, as a mitzvah to cover the blood, so that you should not be callous about such things. Picking up on some, uh, you know, what we talked about yesterday. Here, I'll read you what the Ramban says, quoting Chazal, quoting the sages. Aval Hashon, yeah. There's a very, uh, you know, a fine and, and uh, appropriate midrash that, that, hang, that really uh, aligns with the words of the Torah. Because the people actually were, uh, were had a strong uh, hankering for the blood, al kein hutzrach l'chol hazarot ha'ela, and that's the reason why the Torah needed all of these warnings. I only warn you again and again and again, not because I want it right. Yesterday we looked at it because God wants to make an important uh, philosophical statement to us about life. Drive that home. But here it is. No, it's not about that. This must be a very strong desire. And it might indeed um, um, relate to, um, the Rambam actually describes, you know, uh, well, the, the idolatrous practices that might have, that, that were associated with blood, um, a discussion about, um, indeed, that if, you, that if you drink the blood of a certain animal, then you will gain its, uh, you will gain its koach, its power. Um, Richard the lion-hearted, right, you eat the heart of a lion and, you be, and you'll, and you'll, and you'll, Somehow, be, have the have the the um, strength and courage of a lion, and so in some similar way, it might have been a, not an uncommon practice that people, um, and, you know, wanted to do what pagans had done, and um, so the, the desire for blood was then either one of two: either there's something actually a direct desire for blood, or a desire to uh, carry out pagan practices, and both of these are God is warning us against by making these rules. Tomorrow, we'll conclude our discussion about blood. See, who would have thought that the whole week we're going to spend around blood, most of the week. Tomorrow, we'll discuss a little bit about koshering uh, as we conclude our series. Have a great day.